So in addition to tool tips, there are actually a few more ways that you can get help in Onshape. So whenever you click on a button, like a feature button, so here I'm going to click on extrude, you can look for this little question mark icon. And once you click that, Onshape is going to take you directly to the help file, the help information it has on extrude. So if I click here, I go to the Onshape official help. I can, you know, it gives me a little definition. And then if I'm using Onshape on the desktop, I can click on extrude desktop. And here I get a more in-depth help on extrude. Then I can close this. And so if instead I needed help on using, for example, shell, again, I can click on the question mark. And we come to shell. And then we're using shell on a desktop. And then here are different things you can look at. Okay, so I'm going to close this. Now for sketching, it's a little different. So I'm going to click on sketch and then I'm going to select a sketch plane. And so here are our sketch tools. But whenever we click on a sketch tool, we don't get a new window. So first, without anything selected, if we just click on the question mark, we go to the sketch tools help file, which is kind of an overview. However, if I want specific help on say, um, how to use a spline, I can click on spline and then I can come here to the question mark and it knows that you're looking for help on the spline since you had that button selected. Likewise, if I want help on concentric, it brings you to the concentric help file. Okay, I'm going to close this. And then to go to the main on shape help, we can go to this main question mark here, the help menu, and we just click on help. And that brings us to the main help file. And finally, just a little uh, helpful tip here. If you're the kind of person that loves to use keyboard shortcuts, we can click on the help menu and click on keyboard shortcuts and you get kind of an overview of all the different keyboard shortcuts that Onshape has.